feel like it looks like I have a pig nose right now. Hey y'all, couple new things to tell you about. First of all, shorter hair, which you probably don't notice right now, but normally when it was straight, it was like super long, like all the way down here and looked gross, not cute. And I never wore it straight for that reason. And a nice little layered look. This week I asked you guys on Instagram what mascaras you recommend. The mascara I decided to go with is this Brooklyn and Bailey Lash Next Door. I looked up all the mascaras that you guys recommended on YouTube reviews and this was the one that I thought was best. My actual lashes are actually fairly long and my middle ones for some reason. <laughs> I have like one middle lash on both eyes that are like probably half as long as the others. It's so weird and I really wish that would be on the outside instead. That'd be really pretty but I'm gonna go try this and I'm really nervous. Here's what the applicator looks like. Not focusing. Focus. There we go. So this is what that brush looks like. Okay, so right now this is one. Oh my gosh, I have stuff all over my face. What is that? This is one coat of their mascara on top and bottom lashes. So first coat, just very natural looking. Okay, so here's coat number two. I think we're definitely seeing improvement now. I think this looks very, even though they're long, it looks very natural. It doesn't clump up. If you follow me on Instagram, you actually know I just had this problem, but usually I curl my eyelashes before I put mascara on. And then when I put mascara on, they just fall flat and I haven't had to lift them again. They're sticking straight up. So this is coat number three and I, my eyelashes still don't look like Brooklyn's or Bailey's. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and try one more coat and then show you the before and after and then I think I'm gonna do the other eye. Okay, so this is after four coats. This is the final look, somewhat longer. I feel like my expectations were just a little bit high because I was really wanting them to look like Brooklyn and Bailey's, but like I said, they naturally have really long lashes. So, so it looks like this is the best I'm gonna be able to do. They did start clumping a little bit this time, so it's definitely time to stop. Look at how long they are. And I need to get my nails done because look at this. When I get back, I'm gonna try to curl them again with the mascara on. But, I mean, this is obviously really nice and I'm sure most girls are, would be perfectly happy. I just really love the look of fake lashes. I can't help it. Slightly disappointed. I just really thought they were gonna look so much better than this. This is the final look. This is four coats on each eye. I'm gonna give Brooklyn and Bailey's mascara like four out of five stars. I feel like my only complaint, it's, gr I mean, but that's kind of how their lashes look. Um, so I don't have a lot of lashes, so if they could just all be separated, that would be great. But I feel like that's really hard to achieve. And the length is good. To recommend lash growing stuff that you think works, comment that down below. That'll just be my next step is just, to grow my natural lashes and then when I put mascara on they'll be even longer. Update on the belly ring. It's been three days since I stopped wearing it. Everything I wear is hits me right at the belly button. I wear everything high-waisted pretty much so it used to get stuck a lot and now it's like I can wiggle. I don't like looking at it because I forgot. I completely forgot. My whole life growing up I had like a weird phobia of belly buttons. Not Audis though, Audis are good. But like, innies, where does it end? Does it end? So I've been struggling with when I look in the mirror, I just see a big hole in my stomach. And on top of that, I see a little hole on top of the bigger hole because I had it pierced. And it's just weird. Thank God for one piece swimsuits. I wanna see what my eyelashes look like from like this angle. So I'm gonna go 
with a different color this time. Let's choose icy. Channeling the aliens. Look like how long my natural nails are, y'all. I went with a different color this time. I've been getting the same color for so long. And the lady could kind of tell I was upset. But um, she just like left. She was like really messy. And she was like trying to be quick. It was really weird and annoying, but she would do and annoying, but she would do one nail, make me put it in the thing, and then do a nail for my other hand. And then I just like kept having to switch hands really quickly, and it was kind of annoying. Whereas usually they do one whole hand, and then you put it in, and they do the other hand. So that was already kind of annoying. On the top of um, and also she just did it really sloppy, and she had to use a. Like, a thing this to finger, clean up the sides like, every single time on it. every nail. So that was really frustrating. And she the left light, some spots. You can spot. kind of see there's just little tiny shimmers in it. All over the side of my thumb. Now I'm going to go through some content for some products that I need to do. I'm happy I decided to make Max a change. And I are out taking pictures. Didn't go also, I did curl my well, eyelashes you know again, what? so this is the final look. This is as good as it's gonna get. If a husky poops in the woods, does anybody hear it? Or Bible study they're doing at my church, so if I do, I will keep you with me. Woo!